Hi guys, hope you're okay. Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, today's been an eventful day. Uh, yesterday I didn't really do much. I I wanted to just chill, have a nice little Sunday to myself. Um, didn't really do much, just ended up watching TV for a bit. Today, been at work, listened to an audiobook of Akamath. Got to chapter 55. And let me tell you, I was disappointed. I'm not going to go into any details of what chapter 55 is. So uh, anyone that has not read it yet does not get spoiled. But I was very disappointed. I think so many people built it up. And I was really looking forward to it. And then I got to like chapter 48. So like seven chapters before. And... Some stuff happened there and I was very uncomfortable with it. I didn't like it at all. And I was like, right, I'm not prepared for 55 here, you know. And then I got to 55 and I was listening on an audiobook, which is always a bit worse, isn't it, when it's the uh, context. And it was a 33 minute long chapter and I was like, oh God, here we go. I'm not prepared. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not ready. And then the big thing that everyone loves chapter 55 for or yeah you know everyone loves chapter 55 like the big thing everyone always makes a big deal about that always makes chapter 55 noteworthy was eight minutes of the 33 and I was like oh I expected that to be a hell of a lot worse so I was kind of disappointed I was glad because to be fair didn't like it, but I did expect worse. So I was like, oh, cool. Awesome. Okay. I survived that chapter. Overall, I'm really close to finishing. I'm actually going to finish tonight, but it's late. So I wanted to update you now as opposed to later on. I'm going to finish Akamath tonight. So far, five star. Fabulous book. Leaps and bounds ahead of book one. Like, book one was really good. I gave book one, like, 4.5. And then when I read it the first time, I gave it a 4. So, this one is just leaps and bounds ahead of it. And this one is absolutely a 5 star. Unless, like, the ending ruins it. But everyone says the ending's amazing. So, looking forward to that. And I'm really enjoying it. So, I'll make sure to give you a proper update tomorrow on my final rating. So far, though, 5 star. The characters are absolute perfection. The storyline has just progressed so well, so beautifully. It is now one of the most interesting plots I've ever, ever read. Which is very surprising because I thought the plot wouldn't be too different from book one extremely different from book one loved it i loved how relationships have developed i love the new characters that we got introduced to i love seeing the old characters and how they've changed between book one and book two i'm so excited to continue on with this series so so far absolute five star if i come to you tomorrow and tell you that it wasn't a five star something drastic has happened um i've also been reading wranglestone I got to page, I think, 95 today or something like that. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm not vibing with it. I don't know what the issue is because, like, Brooke absolutely loved this. She's picked it for me to read on my TBR and she picked the book at this particular time. And it's a book that's zombie apocalypse, YA, LGBT, all stuff I absolutely love. I'm just bored. Like, I'm 100 pages in, and I'm just sat here, like... You know, halfway is 180. So I'm 80 pages off being halfway through the book, and I'm like... I could easily put this book down and never pick it back up, and I wouldn't care. And I'm really upset about that, because I wanted so badly to love this book. I even got excited because the second book is coming out, and I'm like, awesome, ready for it. And then I started reading the book one, and I'm like... Mm. Like, I'm I'm genuinely debating DNF. Uh, I didn't want to DNF it. Uh, because in my head, I'm like, you might just be in a bit of a physical book slump. Because all the books you've been reading recently are all audio books. Because really, with work, they've just really suited me better. So I'm like, maybe it's just a physical book slump. Pick up a different physical book. If you struggle with that one, you know it's not the book's fault. But I haven't been able to do that yet. Because I've had a busy evening, been listening to 
Akmat finished that. I've uh, been watching some TV. So, probably going to pick up a new physical book tomorrow. I think I'll take a new one to work. I think I might take the other people because I've got these Vengeful Hearts on audiobook as well. So, that is that that will be my TBR done when I finish those. But I think I'll take the other people, start reading that. If I really enjoy my time with it, if I really have a good, good time, if I can read it quite easily, then I know Wranglestone is the problem and I will sadly DNF. If I struggle, then I'll know that it's probably not Wranglestone, it's probably just where I'm at with physical books right now and I won't DNF it, I'll just keep going but take it very slowly. The thing is I don't want to keep reading and give it a bad rating. That I'd rather DNF than give a book a bad rating. So... I don't know. I don't know where I'm at, but not loving that one so far. Uh, got a few books to uh, be getting on with this week. Like I said, I've got the other people, These Vengeful Hearts, finishing Akamath tonight. See where I'm at with Wranglestone. And that is my entire TBR from Brooke, so that's excellent. And then I'll just see what else I can find. So I will update you guys throughout the week. Welcome to the new vlog, as I said. Hope you're doing very well. Chat to you guys soon. Hi guys, I just realised I completely forgot to update you yesterday. Yesterday was the final day of my official training. I've now entered two weeks of consol- oh, well, a week of consolidation, whereby I just basically get put through a few tests to prove I can still do the job. So I'm really excited about that. I finished the training, which is what I've been looking forward to for ages. And I did finish Akamath on Monday night. Really enjoyed it, still a five star. The ending left me on a big, big cliffhanger, so I'm really excited to read Akawa and carry on. Looking forward to it. I also started yesterday at these Vengeful Hearts and I got to 54% on the way because I was listening on an audiobook, so uh, a lot of bus reading. And I also started The Other People by CJ Tudor. I, uh, I'm not sure where I stand with Wranglestone. The other people, very interesting. I'm only about five chapters in. Uh, but really enjoying it. Very intrigued. I can't wait to actually find out more because obviously it's going to be one of them that develops over time. And based on the chalk, man, I have a feeling it's going to be a bit of a slow burn. So we'll see. A um, bit weird though. And then with regards to these friends full hearts, so good. Like really like big, pretty little lies vibes. It's great really interesting um i've not really watched many like teen drama shows but i would say if you like pretty little liars this will be a book for you it's really interesting and that follows a girl whose sister was took taken down by a group known as the red court so our main character infiltrates the red court in order to bring them down and the red court are the people who do favors for favors if you do something for them or if you ask something of them, they will expect something in return when they want it. And it's really interesting. It's very Pretty Little liars -y. Great. So, so far, really enjoying my reads. And um, that's pretty much it. I'll, uh, I'll update you more. I gave Akama five stars, obviously. Uh, still not sure where I stand with Wranglestone. Not picked it up since. Not wanted to pick it up since. So I think that's a DNF, but at the same time, there's a part that's like, please carry on because it was so highly anticipated. Anyway, my boss is here, so I will chat to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
Thursday after work. I just wanted to update you and let you know that yesterday I said I was going to finish these Vengeful Hearts. I did. Five star book. This, I am going to be completely honest with you. When I saw this book on my shelf and I saw it on my TBR, I was like, okay, okay, I can read that. And then every time it came to picking up the book, I just looked at the cover and I was like, that just doesn't appeal to me. I don't want to read it. Like, I even got to a point where I was talking to Brooke, because uh, obviously if you haven't seen it, she has set my TBR this month. Um, it got to the point where I was talking to Brooke and I said to her that I was debating DNFing this before I'd even picked it up. Like, I was debating just giving up and saying, I actually don't want to read this. It intrigues me, but not enough to actually read it. Um, just one of them that I had a vague interest in, but I didn't want it. So, um, yeah, I wasn't intrigued. And then I found out it was on script and I thought, oh, well, you know what? You don't want to DNF it because you've done really well with your TBR this month. Listen to it on script. You'll get through it very quickly. And I did. I got through it in two days on the commute to work. And that was literally it. And I loved it. It was very Pretty Little Lies. It even says on the back, which I feel like I've said at some point before, high appeal for fans of TV shows like Pretty Little Lies and Riverdale. So, I said in the last clip that this story follows a girl whose sister was paralysed by a group called the Red Court during a takedown, and the girl tries to infiltrate the Red Court and become a member in order to bring them down from the inside. It was so good. I, lo I love the characters. It was great. I ended up really liking so many of them. I thought it was really interesting, and it left on... <sighs> It left interesting. It left on a way where there was definitely set up for a sequel, but it stands well on its own if a sequel does not happen. I'm hoping there's a sequel. I'm hoping it ends after that sequel and it's just like a little duology because I don't want it to, you know, run its course and beat the dead cow or whatever it is, beat the dead horse. But I'm interested to know where this would go should there be a sequel. So that was a great time. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. If you love YA, mystery, suspense kind of thing, perfection, go for it. Uh, currently, I am reading one book. I'm currently reading The Other People. Now, really enjoying this. It is slow, but I think it's meant to. It's a slow burn book, but I'm still enjoying everything I'm reading. So strange, but it's great. It's one of those that you clearly will never have any idea what's going on until you reach the end and then suddenly everything will make sense. That's how I'm feeling. I've had a prediction, sent that off to Brooke. She uh, hasn't been helpful in a response, so I don't know how well I'm doing. But so far, really enjoying my time with it. Very interesting. I kind of hope it gets a little bit faster, but I said that with the chalk man. I gave that a very good, solid four stars because I really enjoyed my time with it, even though it was a slow burn. So it's not a, I want it to get faster because I'm not enjoying it. It's just, I want to get through it a bit quicker because I am reading it very slowly. Uh, I'm currently also doing Wranglestone, but I think it is an official DNF because basically I said to Brooke yesterday that I'm not overly interested in it. And I actually asked her to tell me the ending and spoil it. She really didn't want to, unless I was 100% certain and I wasn't 100% certain I wanted to DNF. But in the end, I convinced her to spill all and tell. And when she told me, I was like, I don't think I'd have liked where that book was going. So it's probably best that I did DNF. So sadly, Wranglestone's a DNF. And I'm really upset about this one because this is the one I wanted to like the most because it's been so highly anticipated and I haven't read a good zombie apocalypse book in so long. So I was dying for this one to be really good. <sighs> sadly, it was not meant to be. Um, hopefully a lot of people love it. Brooke really enjoyed it. I know so many other people that have absolutely adored it. I just personally didn't gel with it. So I'm not saying don't give it a go or anything. It's, you know, it's a perfectly fine book. Just not my personal taste. Uh, I also started Final Girls by Riley Sager today on my commute to work uh, on a bus. But I was listening on an audiobook. And for some reason, I started listening to it, really enjoying it. And then I just randomly sat there, paused it and went, 
I want to read it physically. Don't want to listen on audiobook. So at the minute I have no audiobooks on the go, but I'm going to be stopping my read of Final Girls and I'll restart it and read it physically whenever I get to it. But actually it's just, you know when you get that vibe that you just want to read the book physically? That's where I'm at right now with that. But that's it. I'm just continuing on with my read of the other people, not doing anything else. In terms of my TBR for this month, I have to finish this one and then Truly Devious and that's it. I've done all of them. So it's going well. I have a long-ish time left. It's the 22nd. So I've still got eight days left of the month. So that's plenty of time for me to read the other people and Truly Devious. So I'm just going to spend the eight days reading them. If I finish early, I can move on to another. But those two are just my priority. So I'm not rushing or anything like that. Uh, other than that, guys, I'm sorry I've kept you for a long time. This is like a six minute clip. Uh, yeah, other than that, life updates. Oh, do I give you life updates? Do you care? I don't know. I'll give you my life updates. Uh, basically now. I mentioned again in the last clip, I've come out of training. I'm now in consolidation, which is basically where I run over all of my skills, make sure I know what I'm doing before I actually start the job. I'm loving it. I can't wait to start the job. Granted, I'm terrified of speaking on a phone, so starting the job is going to be horrible. But I am just loving my time at this new job. It's amazing. It's what I needed. I am feeling it passionately. So I'm really having a great time and I'm so glad to be working there. I feel honoured. Hopefully I can find something more permanent with it because this job is a fixed term six month contract with p potential to extend. But I don't like the idea of being on a fixed term thing. I'd rather have something permanent. So I think I'm going to stay within the civil service but look for something that is a permanent position from the off. So... I'm really enjoying my time and I'm so happy with it. And the only other bit of news is I got a email the other day from uh, my hospital saying that I have my second COVID vaccine booked in for the 6th of May. They have very limited availability that day. So they've moved my vaccine to this Sunday. So I'm going to be getting vaccinated. You'll probably see that in the next clip. Not the next clip. The next, next week's vlog because this finishes Saturday. Um, but I'm getting vaccinated on Sunday, so that's really good. They've moved it forward. It's going to be great. Uh, that is it from me, guys. I will chat to you guys tomorrow. Sorry this was a long clip. Hopefully I was entertaining enough. Uh, but I will see you guys soon. Just there. Saturday. I hope everyone is 
fabulous. I've had a lovely day. I went to the Maker's Market at the Lowry today, which was, it's where loads of small businesses come to promote themselves and sell some products. And my dad and stepmom wanted to go and I thought, oh, you know what? That actually sounds really good, so I'm gonna go. Bought a couple of things. I'm gonna show you the items I got at the Maker's Market first and then I'm gonna show you some books I got because we went into the works. Three books for five pound mix and match deal. You know I had to. So one of the first things one of the first things I got was I had to get some brownies from Donna's brownies. They sound amazing. They were all different and they was on offer for four pound for no not four pound. Four brownies for ten pound. So I got a caramel one. That's a lie. I got a crunchy one. Then I got Whisper. Then I got Maltesers. And I got a Smarty one. So I got them. They look really lovely. And it's from Donna's Brownies. And I got a lovely piece of artwork. I actually got some gin as well. Some Palmer Violet gin. But I've sent that to my dad's house to put in the bar so I can uh, have a few drinks. Sorry, that was in the bag. So I can have a few drinks in the bar. Um, then I got some artwork from... Oh, fantastic. It's a Andres Art Studio. Uh, and I got a panda. It's beautiful. It's limited edition. There are only 67 of these made. And I've got number 11. And it's just, I just think it's absolutely beautiful art. It was really, really fantastically priced. I thought the art was beautiful. I mean, it was a really good time. I had such a good time going around there. Now, in terms of the books, I got some books. Actually, I got two books by an author called Kate White. Um, I got The Secrets You Keep and The Wrong Man. I read a book by Kate White this year called, uh, my, was it this year? It was either this year or last year called Have You Seen Me? And I absolutely loved it. I gave it a five star. I thought it was a fantastic story. So I'm taking a bit of a punt that Kate White is an author that I am really going to get along with. So I got two more of her books. And then I got a book which I've seen batting around booktube in the thriller readers area. And that is a book called Lock Me In. I was really interested in this. This is a story about um, a woman who has a relatively normal life, but at the night she has these episodes that make her violent. It's a sleeping disorder she has. And to keep her and everyone around her safe, her mother locks her in her bedroom. But one morning she finds out that the lock has been broken from the inside and her boyfriend is missing and she is covered in injuries. It sounds really good. I want to know where that story goes. I had to get it. Now, The Wrong Man by Kate White. Um, she had the a main character has a night of passion with a handsome man. They agree to meet again, but when she arrives, she meets another man who is pretending to be the original man. Then the police turn up and ask her to identify a dead man carrying her business card, and she discovers it's the man that she met the first time around. It's really interesting. Sounds sounds interesting. It sounds like there's a case of identity theft, something like that. Interested. And then the secrets you keep. After a terrible car crash, our main character is physically healed but has no recollection of the accident and she has bad dreams. Her husband hosts a dinner party and she argues with the caterer and the next day the woman's body is found and she is dragged into the nightmare. And it is very clear when another murder occurs that the danger is getting closer to home and her husband is keeping secrets from her. I am excited to find out about all of these. Kate White is an author I've read before and really enjoyed. Lock Me In is one I've heard a lot about. This artwork is beautiful. And I love brownies. It's been a great morning. I'm going to sit and chill and do some more reading of the other people. I will try and update you a little bit later on how my reading of the other people is going because today is going to be the last day of the vlog. So probably the next clip you see will be the final clip. Um, so I'll just give you some updates then. I had a lovely night in the bar last night for St. George's Day. So much fun. I had so much to drink. No regrets. Great time. I will update you guys later. Bye bye. 
Hi again. So I literally read like two chapters and then I stopped and started watching videos. So no more reading from me. Thought if I'm not going to do any reading, I might as well wrap it up here. Uh, nothing really to update you on because I didn't read. So far I'm really enjoying the other people though. I will say that I will have it done for next week because that is the end of the month. I'm very excited to give you guys my thoughts. I'm very excited to continue on with the story. Uh, I will chat to you guys in the next vlog then. I feel like there's going to be so much happening next week. Uh, I hope you guys join me next week. <clears throat> I get my second vaccine. I officially go downstairs to start my actual job. And I'm going away at the weekend to the Lake District. It's going to be so much fun. I am so ready. I am so excited. Next week is going to be an absolutely fantastic week. And I hope you guys are willing to join me in my video. Let me know if you have any amazing plans coming up. And if you don't, let me know what you're reading. That's amazing enough. Guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I love that you guys are here. I appreciate you all so much. And that is it from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, you dickhead. I was trying to take a bleeding thumbnail photo. <laughs>